to the ceiling first. Hey everybody, my name is Danny Palumbo and today I'm gonna make a fucking spaghetti pie. What's a spaghetti pie? It's a frittata with spaghetti in it. <laughs> this is a dish you're supposed to make if you live with people. If you have roommates, if you have a family, kids. It's not like a thing you're supposed to make when you just live alone with your fucking dog. This is the first staff meal that I learned how to cook. It's a great way to blow out like extra ingredients in your fridge. We used to stick a bunch of leftover deli meat into it. I don't do that anymore because I don't eat like a 40 year old, you know, Italian divorced man. I eat like somebody who is comfortable talking about their emotions and doesn't fundamentally disagree with therapy. First thing we're gonna do is thinly slice an onion. I'm gonna go about medium heat, two tablespoons of butter, onions in. Anytime something hits the pan, you gotta salt it. I'd say cook the onions for like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes if you want to. If you ever see a recipe and it says to caramelize onions for 15 to 20 minutes, that's a fucking lie. It takes 30 to 40 to caramelize it correctly. We're not gonna get to the jammy stage of the onion because I don't wanna spend two hours cooking something in the morning. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. You don't wanna burn onions. You don't wanna cook them on high heat. I don't understand the point of doing that. You can see they're getting a nice little crust on them. I like the Checo pasta. I like a store-bought pasta. I think it's fine. Spaghetti number 12 for men. This is gonna be seven ounces of pasta. Do we need more cooking videos? I think so. Bon Appetit test kitchen got canceled. It was literally a bunch of white people cooking in a tower in New York City. A humble person would never walk into a skyscraper. I'm liking the color of these, you know, caramelized, but not like a deep caramelization. So I'll put them aside for now, back on the heat. Next thing I'm gonna do is saute a bell pepper. I'm gonna add back in the onion. Do a little more olive oil and about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Cook the tomato paste for just a few minutes. It gets a little sweeter, deepens the flavor. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper just because I like to have a little bit of heat. If you think crushed red pepper is hot, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I'm gonna go right in the pan. Hit it with a little more salt, some pepper. And then mix it, baby. You know, pasta is meant to be tossed in a pan. Hate it when Italian restaurants give you pasta and then just lump the sauce over top. No, everything should be tossed. All the flavors should get familiar with one another. It should be a well-seasoned dish. You can tell the pasta is like looking a little red. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spread this out pretty evenly in the pan. Turn the heat off. Six goddamn eggs. Some people say you can get shells if you do it one-handed. Do you see any fucking shells in here? When you make brunch every Sunday for years, you get pretty good at cracking eggs. Right into the pan. Take a spatula and just kind of spread it out. You can see the pan's still warm, but it's not hot, so nothing, nothing is really cooking right now. It'll be a nice one. Next thing we're gonna do is just take some mozzarella and just go right on top. A little more salt, a little more pepper, and then I'm gonna go right in the oven. 350 for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, look at that shit. God, that looks really good. The mozzarella looks like clouds. That's a bunny, that's a dinosaur, and 
and this is the alien from the movie Alien. What I'm gonna do real quick, are you getting the car a lot out there? Fix your fucking car. I'm gonna take a rubber spatula, kinda get underneath a little bit, you know, so nothing sticks. Look at that, dude. This thing's beautiful, dude. Look at it. Take a little bit of basil, roll it up. Basil right on top. Don't tell me that's not beautiful. And then just cut it like a, like a pizza? Yeah. You can eat it plain. It's great plain, but what I like to do Got some pesto laying around. Bam. And I got some ricotta cheese that I made. I mean, who is the victim? Certainly not you, definitely not me. Just get a little corner there. A little bit of pesto. This tastes really good because I salted the onions, the peppers, the pasta, the eggs. And when you cheese them, at every stage in the cooking process, you just get like a more complete flavor. And I've never eaten it with ricotta before, but if I was serving this at a restaurant, that's what I'd fucking do. And I will never open a restaurant. That sounds like a fucking nightmare.